frontal cortex and amygdala have a lot to do with each other, which is the frontal cortex spends a whole lot of time sending inhibitory projections down into the amygdala saying, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I know it seems really tempting right now. You're going to regret it. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. Racing to the amygdala before that shortcut gets the amygdala to do something stupid and impulsive there. And the picture you get is basically all of the frontal cortical amygdaloid interactions are top down. The only thing the frontal cortex has to do with the amygdala is like showing up and preaching Christian temperance and things like that. And other than that, it's this very one directional relationship. In actuality, it's two directional because we see versions of this all the time. This is every single time in some moment of arousal, of fear, of stress, of who knows what, you make some decision that seems brilliant at the time and you spend the rest of your life regretting it. Ah, it's not just one direction, bottom up, ex 